is Arden. And well, we didn't make it to the top three this week, but it doesn't matter because I'm super happy anyway because we're still in a running. This week, we were asked to do a pink and white acrylics competition style with hot couture design. I think we'll just jump right into the tutorial. Um, I hope you like it. I really tried to push the boundaries this time. And you learn something fun on the way. Since I do traditional pink and white competitions, but only in gel, I was really excited to try out my first acrylic nails ever, and on top of that, competition style with a hot couture twist. I started off by doing some research online to find out what colors and textures are in for the fall and winter season. Since the base would be mostly white, I found that I still wanted to keep it clean by sticking to the colors gray and black to complement the pink and white base and still be fashion forward when it comes to coloring. I then did some research on textures and shapes this coming season and I saw a lot of lace and large wavy skirts mixed with metallic, both gold and silver. So that was definitely something I wanted to incorporate. I did also find that a lot of the designers used hand and nail jewelry in the collections with a lot of rings, so that worked perfectly with my vision. The spike piece on the pinky was inspired by a hat I saw and the large white nail finger piece by one of the large wavy dresses. So I ended up with my take on if I would have been a hot tour nail designer. I hope this piece will get your inspiration going and maybe want to try something that's a little bit over the top. This is what I started off with after doing my prep work. I then applied the forms and started to build the nail bed using a cover pink and then a soft transparent pink on top. I also pinched the nail bed extension to make the result look slimmer using small clips and a pinching tool. Here you have the nail bed extension without the forms, clips and with a filed smile line. After removing the clips and forms, I took a file and started to file the edge of the extension. Make sure to tilt the upper side of the file a tiny bit from you when filing. If you tilt it towards you, you'll get white under the pink and that will mess up your smile line. Also make sure to really get into the sides. Pull the skin down and file it all the way in or you'll lose the corners of the white when you start shaping. Also make sure that the thickness of the extension is even all around the free edge. If not, that will force you to file much more than you want to get rid of all the white. Time to add the white. I placed my forms again and tilted the forms a little bit downwards as I wanted to do as the little shape. I placed my white acrylic all the way up to the pink and even a little bit over it to really make sure that I got white all pressed up against the nail bed extension and added white all the way into the corners that I filed out before. Same here, make sure to really press it up against the pink and even a little bit over it. The corners can be the trickiest part, so you have to be picky. As soon as I finished one nail, I took my pinching tool and pinched it to get a slimmer shape and left it there. When I finished the next nail, I removed the tool and put a clip over it instead to keep it in place. The index finger was done by simply just adding white where I wanted and then slowly building it up. The last thing to do was to shape the nails. When you're doing stiletto nails, make sure to file away the bulkiness on the sides. You can do that by actually turning your client's hands upside down. Then you'll have a better view of the material that needs to be filed off. Also, be careful not to file too hard in the smile corners. It's really easy to accidentally remove the white. File around the cuticle area, make sure that you have a smooth, seamless transition from the natural nail. It's also really important to take a look at the nails from different angles. Both sides, front, turn your client's hand around, look down the nails from the client's view, etc. Don't forget to use your fingers as well. Sometimes imperfections are hard to see with your eyes, so close them and just run your fingertips over the surface. This piece was inspired by one of the hats I saw. I started out by drawing my shape on a piece of paper putting it into a plastic zipper bag and then sculpted out the different parts on top using acrylics. I then painted the base using a mix of clear and black gel and the spikes were colored with some chrome gel and black acrylic paint. Then I attached it all together with some glue. When I did my research, the first thing that caught my eyes were the large wavy dresses. So I started by trying to create something that would draw your mind to that. After a lot of failed tries using only tin foil and pressing it to the shape I wanted using clay, etc., I found that this way worked the best. I attached three brushes with some blue tack and pressed down some tin foil over it. Then I sculpted the shape using acrylic and then painted it white. 
using acrylic paint. I then repeated this one more time, only making it smaller. Here I've attached the spike shape onto the pinky using acrylic. The pinky also got pimped up with a lot of mixed black silver and gold studs. I wanted this nail to be the edgy one, focusing on metallic details that are super hot for this coming season. Earlier that week I also went to a small sewing shop and bought a lot of different ribbons. I found this one perfect for this set because of the color and shape and then added it with some glue. To add that flowy, smooth and really beautiful ribbon next to the edgy, spiked up one really creates a cool contrast and makes it interesting and adds to the dimension. A couple of years ago, I actually ran my own web shop where I sold my own handmade jewelry with my own brand by Selena. So that's what I wanted to incorporate into my design. Hot Couture for me means statement design that's really over the top and one of a kind. Something that you've never seen before. So I pulled out all of my former jewelry designer skills back and really tried to make something that would be over the top and memorable. I bought a couple of chains, some rings and this super cool black triangle and created a nail finger piece making it go through the hole in the nail. The black triangle was also attached around the finger to keep it in place using a piece of wire. I also prepared my other jewelry piece by placing my ring onto the ring finger. I wanted to make this whole set as personal as possible, so even this piece right here was made from scratch. I placed all my beads in the right order and then took a special jewelry tool to bend a loop at the top. I then created my next jewelry piece using two different chains, attaching one side to the ring finger ring and the other to a small ring that I placed on the middle finger using gel. And what is hot couture nails without some bling? Of course, I had to place a large black Swarovski crystal in the middle of the ring. My third large jewelry piece was added to the thumb. I bought the middle piece at a jewelry craft store and then I placed three different chains, six pieces in total, and attached them to the middle piece and then to the ring. I also took another ribbon and placed it with some glue onto the nail to add more wavy shapes and to create that cool contrast between soft fabric and metal chains. The last thing to do was to add three different ribbons to the dress piece to make it look like an underskirt and then attach it to the nail around the finger using a black thin ribbon. To add that final touch, I placed a couple of black Swarovski crystals in different shapes using glue. And ta-da! A pink and white Frenchie with a hot couture twist. I really enjoyed creating this set, one because I got to try out acrylic nails for the first time and two, I got to pick out the jewelry designer in me once again. And it is voting time again and I would be so happy if you would like to vote for this set this week. You'll find the links below together with the nail art gallery tutorial link and my other social media sites. You can vote starting today and ending Thursday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next week. Hey do! Vad säger du? Vad säger du? Vad vill du? Du är helt vit. Hej.